Uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of Castile! Soon to be Spain and soon to go to the new España! Okay guys, so I've been getting a lot of I've been getting like a couple of requests about what we should call the new land, and I'm glad to see you guys are uh, interested in what we're gonna be calling it. And basically I'm basically gonna decide on the day we actually discover the new land what I'm actually gonna call it. But until then, keep submitting your request of what you want to call it and what do you think the new land should be named. And I have to be right back. Okay, guys, back. Uh, just had to. Yeah, it was just quickly. I just had to quickly set up my alarm, my alarm clock, so that it would go off to where we had, you know, 20 minutes. It's been a 20 minute episode because if we go longer than 20 minutes, I feel like the episode goes way too long. So let's continue on with this campaign where I think I'm gonna be building some stuff. Uh, yeah, I usually like to build armories. It's usually my go-to build strategy, whatever you want to call it. And it seems like. But the majority of things, we're basically just doing fine. I mean, we're coring everything. We have religious people being persecuted and destroyed. I mean, this world is just awesome. We have a vassal. I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose stability or I can gain 3 inflation. I think I'll gain the 3 inflation because that's so much easier. Then I just do this, lower it back down. And then let's see. Yeah, I'm annexing my vassal right now. So that should be... Let's see, when's that gonna finish? 1472. Dang, that's gonna be a long time. So that's not gonna finish for a very long time. And for the meantime, we should probably start improving relationships with all the people right next to us. One of the people we should be improving relationships with is our good friends, France. Because if France hates us, we are not gonna have a good time. <laughs> Let's just leave it like that. So I'm gonna stop improving relationships with our friends, Austria, and improve relationships with France. Because we can make them like us. If France does not like us, we could potentially look at an insanely big war on our hands with a big blue blob. And I don't really want to deal with the big blue blob yet. I want to kind of be my own little, like, yellow blob over here. Or goldish by you, depending on color variations. You know, but that's what I want to be. I want to be my own little, you know, blob. But before we can do that, we must kind of build up our own, our own navy and infantry and do all this kind of stuff. So... First things first is that we should probably get to our m limit. I'm oh, sorry, people. I thought somebody was coming in there for a second. Um, we have to get to our limit. So let's just start building up some new men. Let's see. What do we want? Some Latin knights. Let's see. How am I doing in compulsion? Let's just split up the men here. Let's see. We have 10 for... Oh, that's a lot of men. Never mind. Never mind. We have... No, we have to rebuild our manpower. Because now, remember, we lost so much manpower from fighting Aragon. Even though they didn't actually send most of the entire army over here, but we lost so much that we were destroyed. And France is calling us into a war against Burgundy, Baden, Hungary. Oh gosh, I think we're actually gonna have to fight this. Yes, we'll accept. Okay. Go send massive deck stacks. Well, actually. Oh. That stinks. So we failed that mission, guys. I thought that was gonna give us a little bit more time. Claim our rival's land. Who's our rival right now again? I mean, obviously it's very important for us to know, but... Okay, so Aragon's our rival. Let's see, how long do we have a choose timer? Yeah, no, I'm not going to claim that land anytime soon. So, let's see. Does France actually need my help? Nah, they, they seem to be handling it pretty effectively. So just send my troops back to Madrid and let's just chill out. I mean, why, why send my troops in when I don't really have to lose men? Why should we have all good blood of Spanish soil die? Oh, and Fran- not France. I mean, England wants a militaristic royal marriage. Well, you know what? A militaristic royal marriage? Of course you guys may have it. Let's detach all these uh, mercenaries, because in any of my Let's Plays, I am a severely nut job about not having mercenaries, because I think they're kind of... In the long, to be honest, mercenaries in a really serious talk, mercenaries are really just like a death sentence for your economy. Unless you are like the Holy Roman Empire and you've like, and you're like late in the game, most likely mercenaries are a death sentence for your economy and for your own militaristic prosperity. And apparently my vassal Navarra attached their troops to mine. I don't know why they did that because the real battle's over here. France, you better start sending more troops in. Send more troops in. Don't lose that exchange. Don't lose that. Okay, good. You guys are sending more troops in. There we go. They lost. Okay. Yeah. 
I do believe the AI is not going to be stupid enough to lose this war. I, I do believe that, but, you know, if it actually does happen, we will worry. <laughs> we will definitely worry. So no one's going after my Cardinal anymore, which is good. And I do believe we were investing in this guy. No, we weren't, but this guy I think we should invest in because we don't want the Irish anymore to get any more Cardinals in there. You hear that, Ireland? You're not getting any more Cardinals. Aye, we Spanish, we will not let them because we are the Spanish, and that's where our rights are. And no one should take anything I say seriously, because if you did, you would honestly rip your hairs out. Just just saying, never take never take anything I say seriously, because if you do, it will cause you more headache and pain than you there's needed for your body. Okay, and let's see, we are almost done coining this thing, which is good, to good, good, good. And uh, my king, Naples, declared war upon a new enemy, the site we conquest. <gasps> Oh my goodness, Naples broke away? Napole? Okay, so let's see. We could help them, but they're already broken away, so actually we can't help them. France is obviously being the big bullies they are and just torturing all of Burgundy. Burgundy can't... Burgundy is not going to be able to fight back. Let's... Let's be real here. Uh, we're going to invest all of our points into this one Cardinal. Sweden now has a Cardinal. That's good. Somebody non-Ireland-ish is good to have but then again now we have to worry about what do we have to worry about actually we don't have to worry about anyone because it's all just kind of spread evenly in fact i don't even know how how did the how did the irish even get the holy see like no offense to ireland or anything it's good for them power power all for them but seriously there's like no one who has a majority right now in the holy see so i don't know how they got it i mean he's not even like He's not even like the oldest one among them either. That's the Teutonic Order, so it doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Uh, game mechanics sometimes are illogical, but we just ignore that because if we really think about it, gamers would get blown away by how much this doesn't make sense. So anyways, we are now going to be talking about should we an achieve religious unity? Achieving a religious unity would be a... <laughs> no... Not that, but achieving religious unity would be a very, very substantial and beneficial thing to our, you know, Castilian Empire. The only problem is, is that for me to do that, is I'm probably going to have to boost my stability up to three to even get these to start converting. Because I already know for a fact these things, these, these, like, last two provinces are strictly and utterly dedicated to the, um cause as you would say they are dead straight Sunni they are not going to try to be convinced by my missionaries anytime soon so what we are going to have to do is just you know just casually let them think that we forgot about them make them lull them into a sense of security and prosperity while we carefully and systematically take away bit by bit the culture and ultimately take over through the children because the children are the future everyone if you can imagine a politician smiling right now that is the picture I want you guys to think of so anyways um we have France crushing down on the Burgundians like I thought more yeah, yearly prestige I wouldn't mind getting some more yearly prestige I don't usually get that very often no who dang it I like this guy I've invested so much into this guy that I'm not losing him Oh, Castile, you just took him back, you jerk. Uh, wait, Castile's me. Yes, he finally got admitted! Dang, that guy is old. He probably won't make it all the way up, but dang. I invested so much into that guy. Uh, I'm glad he finally got in there. Although, this, it does kind of annoy me that it took me so took him so long to do that. And... While it's taking me so long to realize stuff, I think I'm going to check out some of these new map modes again. So I want to see how the rest of the world is doing. Well, thank you. So, diplomatic power, we conquest, whatever. I'm going to check out some of these different template, templates of times of things. So, we have, so far there's only like two. Kind of weird. So, there's temperate and there's arid. I don't see any other type of, you know, weather patterns. I would hope they would add more, but I guess not. And winters. Do we have an insanely bad winter? No. Spain is tropically hot. And the rest of the world, 
tropically cold. Wait, in May? Moscow is cold in May. Wow. That is sad. That is just sad. I mean, I, I don't know how you would live in that kind of place and that time. Especially since there was like no heaters, no internet, and no TVs. I don't know how we'd live in Moscow. It must have been a very, very dull and droll place. Ah. <sighs> well, speaking of that, we should build some more armories. Let's just get that done with. And should we start building our units? Eh, our manpower is starting to recover, so soon we'll build more units so that, that way we can start balancing out these two forces. Spread our culture to Barcelona. Is this already accepted culture? Catalan. Ah. Uh, you know, considering we only have like, uh, let's see, who's in our culture group right now? Um, Castilian, Andalusian. Um, I, you know, we could possibly convert Catalan to our primary culture. So, I actually would not see much reason to, you know, you know, forcibly convert the culture. I mean, there's there's really no there's really no meaning. Um, doing a Reconquista. Uh, take the cores of Medela, Ornan, and Tangiers. Could that be profitable? Well, let's see. How is our trade doing? We're still dominating the trade market. Taking these two provinces. Ah, uh, nah. I've already, I've already decided I'm not going to really take them because they don't really fit my goals of massive expansion into the new... Gosh dang, I can't say America because it's not America. It's a land over there that we are soon going to discover and prove that the world is round and, um, I, gotta say, I can't do, like, jokes about America, about America and, like, different land grants because it's not there yet. It's not America either. It's the land. <laughs> okay, so we improve, we completely improve relationships with France. That's good. It's a good thing to know that France is now on our side. Gain stability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Free stability? Heck yeah. So does that make it possible for us to actually convert some people? No. They are still rock hard solid like. Um. What's the word? Angry at me? No, 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 no. It isn't angry at me. It's um. Ah, dang. I don't know what the word is. Uh, claim air or, you know. Five prestige is really not that much. Honestly. Five prestige, we could lose that. That's nothing. And now that we have enough time has passed, it's time to get some more militaristic technology. And it's time to get some new people. Do I want a longbow or do I want a men of arms? Am I more of an attacker or am I more of a defender? I'm more of an attacker. Latin Knights, do I want the uh, Latin Knights or do I want the Kumbashe? This one has slightly better defense. Or do I want shock? Hmm. Do I want my people to be better at shock or do I want to be better at morale? Um, let's see. My knights are typically good at shock. Um, yeah, it'd be really good if they just kept with shock and I guess a little bit of defense. So yeah, I'll keep it the Latin knights because the Latin knights seem to be fitting, fitting my style. With that said, it's time to start balancing out these armies. So nine. Okay, so we need... We need about... One longbow and one Latin knight for that army right there. We'll start off slow, people, and then we'll soon soon start to be big. Okay, and let's see—is our truce almost done with you? No. Actually, yes, it is. Okay, then fabricate claims, everyone. We're gonna fabricate. No, not a royal marriage, because you guys—you guys were jerks. I'm gonna. You guys were jerks, Aragon. Like seriously, I was trying to be friendly with you and it, you guys want to be like Psh, let's be mean to Castile because that would be a good idea yeah we're, we're Aragorn that's totally what we do yeah Aragorn yeah no stupid idea Aragorn stupid 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 idea so now what I'm going to do is just go crush you into oblivion and form the Spanish Empire in the process <laughs> does that sound good to you I think it sounds good to you Let's do that. Two, three, four. Let's divide that up evenly. Should be able to go in both those troops. And I still have a more massive army than they do on the shores. Wow, they they just do not have any army over here. And this is going to be a steamroll. Uh, 
Paragon, when will you learn? You don't attack your aggressive neighbors. By the way, I know I do have an alliance with you, so... Let's see, is there anything I can do with you that would be really messed up or that could possibly benefit me in the future? No, because your king has not died. Uh, your kingdom, why is he an administrator? Personality administrator. Hmm. What you get? Oh, I never noticed they will seek out and it. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, uh, depending on what, depending on how the, how the guy is, I guess that will depend on how they think. So, the diplomat, and then, oh, that's kind of cool. I like, I like that personality trait thing. You know, it kind of gives a little bit more depth into this game. Uh, I, I didn't, uh, honestly, I didn't notice that until just now. That's, that's really, like, that's really is cool. Okay, we got a final little armory placed down there, right in Alamira. Alamira? Or Ilamira? Or Alamara? Um, gonna stop now. So, I'm gonna combine these troops, combine these troops. Gonna take, is there any kind of thing to attack uh, Aragon again? No. We took, we could take the Reconquista. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yep, 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 take it. Let's go, Aragon. Let's see, who are you allied with? Switzerland. That's really the best you got? Let's go do this, guys. Okay, so he has absolutely no army, again, over here. So that means... Go stick our fleet right over here next to the shores and just siege down everything. That's basically what we do every single time. <laughs> and it honestly works. So, yep, there we go. Siege down this. Okay, let's get down these guys. Start carpet sieging. This war, I think we. I don't think this war we could probably annex them, but I do believe this war we could probably get most of what we want. At least at the very least, surround the capital so that then next time we can just take it. And at the same time, people, we are going to be advancing in... Wait, are we ahead of times? No, we are not. So let's advance in our Diplotech so we can get to a new level. And soon we're going to be able to get our first idea, which you guys already know what I'm going to get. And I'm really excited for it. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, but in the meantime, let's just watch as we just carpet cheese the heck out of Aragon. In fact, we might be able to get through the carpet sieging and the conquest of it in this episode. One would hope. One would hope. Uh, 50 admin power. New cardinal. Yeah, oh yeah, I have to keep investing into this guy. Nah, he seems kind of old, so I think I'm going to go for a different guy. This guy seems like a nice, juicy cardinal to take. Okay, um, in terms of noble, family, request aid... Do I give him aid or do I strip it away? Strip it away, I don't really care. Noble families should know how to deal with their problems. I mean, honestly, I am the king, but you guys are my subjects and you guys should know how to do things. And for some reason, Poland looks slightly bigger than usual. I think it's because they actually took a little bit of land up here. Yeah, yeah, they took a little bit of the Teutonic Order's land. Oh, that's pretty cool, Port uh, Poland. You guys don't usually become that big in this game, but good job for you. Now, all you need to do is just conquer the... Oh, in a personal unit, dang it. I was about to say, now you just need to conquer Lithuania and you guys have formed the great Commonwealth Empire. But apparently you guys are already under a PU under them, so... Uh, good chance of that happening. Good chance of that happening. So, we're going to move these guys over here to kind of help with this siege. We're going to invest, invest into an advisor. A Diplo Relations guy. That would actually be pretty good. Okay, this guy's done. Let's go spread him right here. And yeah, we might actually be able to finish this entire war in this episode. That'd be kind of cool if we could do that. Um, Building-wise, armories. <laughs> I mean, what else would I do? Without my armories, this world is meaningless. Okay, we got another siege done. Another siege done. Got another siege done. And one more. Oh, this is... We're cutting it really close, people. We have literally, like like a minute before I have to end this episode. Come on. Come on, Siege. Let's go, Siege. Come on. Come on, Siege. Let's do this. Let's do this, Siege. We have to get this done. Before the end of the episode, these subscribers have to see the end of this. By the way, I don't want to mention this always because I always put it in my, like, title intro thing. Don't forget, if you guys do like my episodes, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I know it seems like a very small thing. 
or something. I know it seems like very big, but it really does help me out when I know you guys really do like the content I produce. And for goodness sake, just, just end already. Thank you. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Okay, we have a couple seconds to do, do. Okay, to do, do. I want this. I want this. And I want uh, money. Just give me money. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Um, okay, okay. Uh, release this Lee. I want you to release. I can't release this Lee. Okay, um, oh, oh man, we got 12 seconds. Okay, okay, uh, 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 transfer trade power? No, you won't accept this? What? Oh, shoot. No! Oh, uh, 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 shoot. You guys are gonna be jerks, aren't you? Oh, shoot. We won't be able to do it. Ah. Uh... So close, guys. So close. But another time, another day. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Sorry I couldn't end it this episode. I tried, but, you know. They just only would accept. Oh, it was the money. Shoot. So I could have made that. Dang it. Okay, but next episode, we're basically finishing off Castile. I mean, Aragon. I mean, whatever country is right there. We're going to do this militaristically. So what do we need next? Aragon, Verona. Uh, Aragon, which I'm to do to get Valencia. I'm gonna have to get Alaton so we can cover it up. So that means we're gonna have to do this. So yeah, I need this province and this province right there. 